Welcome back, everyone. Growing fallout after Fox News announced its parting ways with Tucker Carlson. Now, with one less conservative voice on the network, critics are questioning the network's direction. Could they be going in a more liberal direction and embracing the trans agenda? Given Caitlyn Jenner is now on Fox's payroll as a contributor, in a statement, Fox News CEO Suzanne Scott even touted the partnership, saying, quote, Caitlin's story is an inspiration to us all. She is a trailblazer in the LGBTQ plus community, and her illustrious career spans a variety of fields that will be a tremendous asset for our audience. Joining us now to discuss is Turning Point USA contributor Alex Clark and Women's Liberation Front founder Lear Keith. Welcome to you both. Well, Thank thanks you for having me. So the liberal media, you know, they spend a lot of time advocating for transgender rights, but there appears to be a dark side to the movement. Listen to this as one transgender activist seems to be threatening violence. Roll tape. I dare you to try and stop me from going into a women's bathroom. It will be the last mistake you ever make. This is a call to action. You need to arm up. Plain and simple. Go out, buy a gun learn how to use it efficiently. You need to protect yourself and you need to protect your fellow transgender brothers and sisters. I mean, Alex, this is pretty outrageous. What's your reaction to this video? And, you know, if the media won't hold these transgender activists accountable for these types of comments, what's going to happen? Well, it's very interesting that after the Nashville massacre, which was a mass murder committed by someone claiming to be trans, we have another trans person threatening violence, and yet no condemnation about this video from the Alphabet Soup lobby. This is all ringing the alarms of an extremist group to me. And let me tell you something about this man that is very disturbing. He is famous for wearing diapers and dressing as an infant for sexual satisfaction online. Should we allow, my question to the viewers is, should we allow him to enroll then in a daycare and force daycare workers to take care of him with other infants? If the answer is no, why? Obviously, the answer is because we cannot claim to be something that we are not and then demand that people accept that as a reality. And when you start accepting lies as truth, like Fox News using she pronouns for Bruce Jenner, the hoops you must jump through will continue to get bigger and bigger and catastrophically harmful. Lear, I mean, you look at what happened in Nashville. I mean, if there's no accountability for types of comments like this, what kind of trouble could this spell for women and for girls? This gender identity movement, I, I mean, I've been fighting this since the early 1980s, and I'm not exaggerating, but it's, it's populated by men exactly like what you just saw. And they are outraged when women say no. Um, Maya Angelou very um, famously warned us that when someone tells you who he is, believe him. We need to believe him. He's not joking around. Um, psychiatrists call this aggrieved entitlement, and it's a feature of narcissistic personalities. And that's what we're up against. I mean, this man thinks he has a right to break through every single boundary that women might lay down. Um, not just a right, but like a legal right, you know, a moral right, but a legal right to do this. Um, and when we say no, well, this is what we've got coming. So let's get to Bud Light. Still in the media, still in the headlines. Um, media reports more fallout at the company. Um, their move to team up with transgender influencer Dylan Mulvaney. This headline from the Wall Street Journal reading, quote, Bud Light Brewer puts two executives on leave after uproar over transgender influencer. Um, Alex, what do you think this move says about the turmoil going on right now inside Bud Light following the backlash that they've seen? Well, rumors say that the executives of Bud Light had no idea that their marketing team was going to go through with this uh, gifting to Dylan Mulvaney of, you know, uh, his face on Bud Light cans. Um, so they didn't know. And now it looks like those marketing people have been uh, terminated or suspended or what have you from the team. Um, so it looks like conservatives are making their voices heard, or at least just people that have common sense that say we're sick of this, we're sick of telling people that you can be a totally different gender than you are and then celebrate that mental illness. Um, and it looks like our actions are speaking louder than words for once. I think conservatives have a, have a really bad habit of talking a lot of talk and not backing that up. And it looks like we are putting our dollars to work here.
All right. I wish we had a little bit more time, but we have to leave it there. Alex Clark and Lear Keith, thank you both so much for taking time to be with us tonight. Well, thank you.